Good water quality in our rivers, lakes, coasts and estuaries is vital to life. For our environment, for public health, for our enjoyment of our natural heritage. Over 400,000 jobs in Ireland are in water intensive industries, agri-food, tourism, hospitality and biopharma. Many located in rural Ireland. These need water supplies with clean sources. I mean, what we have here, what we have behind us, is literally a vein of gold. It's a very rare resource we have in there. Atlantic salmon, globally, internationally, becoming very rare. We are very fortunate and lucky here because it's still a very prolific river. And it is because of the water quality. We're on the Castlebar River here today. We're having an event for a local national school. Having a look at the different types of species that are there. Yet in today's world, many of society's activities are resulting in our waters not being as clean as they once were. Almost one third of our waters are at risk of not being in good or excellent standard. 30 years ago, we had 500 Q5 rivers, the highest quality rivers. Today, we have 21. Various activities are contributing to damaging water quality, including certain farming practices. We use in agriculture a lot of recycled uh, uh, organic fertiliser from our, our animals and chemical fertiliser and the application of that on land, a certain proportion of it is always going to go to water. The other main impacts are around farmyards and farm roadways, there's a certain level of losses to water and then at riparian or riverbank areas there's a certain amount of the management of those riverbanks that have an impact on water quality inadequately treated or untreated sewage, certain forestry practices and invasive alien species like Japanese knotweed. Physical changes or damage to water bodies. But there are solutions. In February 2017, the government published a draft river basin management plan, which outlined what Ireland can do and achieve for our waters by the end of 2021. It sought your views through submissions, consultations and surveys. It was very positive. We'd oh, been around 120 meetings nationally. That gave us a great insight as to the, the feeling on the ground, what people think about what's happening on their local waters. The government has listened and, guided by people's views, has strengthened the plan. The finalised plan outlines some major initiatives to improve water quality by the end of 2021. Irish Water will invest in more waste water treatment and greater water conservation. Well, Irish Water will play its role by investing uh, 1.7 billion euros in 250 new and upgraded wastewater treatment plants. Additionally, we will be spending over 73 million euros a year over the next four years on water conservation and leakage activities. Farmers will work together with 30 new sustainability advisors, improving nutrient management and farmyard practice. The process will begin with a local engagement in a catchment. When combined local authority and Chagas service move into an area, we will set up a consultative process with farmers. The huge benefit will be a financial benefit in terms of the ability of our marketing organisations to sell Irish agricultural produce as best in the world in terms of, of sustainability and that's the key objective here. A Blue Dot catchment programme will prioritise the protection of our most pristine rivers and lakes. New local authority scientists will assess water quality and implement local measures. There will be new ways for people and communities to get involved in improving their water quality with the local authority waters and communities office. The role of the local authority water and community officers is to engage with local communities, local schools, local organisations and to, and to bring them to the water like we did today and explain why the water is so important to us. Through these actions we will achieve real improvements in the health of over 700 water bodies with improved water quality status in about 150 water bodies. This in turn will help protect drinking water sources and our aquatic environment and a national asset that communities, lovers of water sports and tourists all enjoy. This plan is everyone's plan and everyone can play their part. From the local authority scientist to the citizen scientist. First of all ask people to become more aware of the water quality in their region. They can do that by logging on to the catchments.ie website where they can access information on their local environment. From the conservation ranger to the farmer. Individual farmers can contact either ourselves or the farming organisations if they want to find out what's, what's going on as part of this service. It's a, it's a potential win-win for, for everybody. From the student to the teacher. We had Nick Kane out to do the workshop with the children in the school on water quality and the contribution the children can make. You know, he inspired them, he inspired all of us. He enjoyed it so much and they got a lot out of it. From the citizen to the community. 
The community are key to improving water quality in their area because they know what's happening on the ground. Very often it takes a local solution to deal with a local problem. Be part of our national plan. Take to the water. Thank you.